Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Collector here with another Marvel Legends review. This is Moon Knight, the uh, Walgreens exclusive. Uh, I just found him at Walgreens, obviously. Uh, so here's the front. Here's the side art. Here's the back. If you want to pause and read that, you can. If I can, eh, just let me move it up just a little bit here. And then here's the bottom with the DCBI, and then here's the top with the Moon Knight logo. Uh, but let's crack this thing open. And then here's Moon Knight out of the packaging. He looks really cool, um, but he comes with a whole lot of accessories. So let's go over them. So he comes with two of these fist, fisted hands with these little slots here. I'll show you what they do. This is like everyone's most liked thing about him. I'll show you why here in a little bit. And he has this grabbing hand for his other, uh, for his, these uh, moon dagger things here. So those are cool. And he comes with two of these. And then he comes with three of these smaller daggers, which everyone loses. And this is where I'm gonna get into why everyone doesn't like these so much yet. So the reason why those slots are there are because you can slide them in if you can Let's see if I can get them all all three of them in there without doing anything and see like I just dropped one now I probably won't find it all right where did that one go oh. there it is I think I found it I lost all mine from that other one from the homecoming build a figure wave. Are you talking to me? Sorry, my brother was asking me if I was talking to him. Uh, you gotta do it like perfectly. Maybe keep your thumb underneath. I think, uh, yep, still in there. Yep, there's two. Now let's see if I get three. Great, oh uh, yeah. These are the ones that no one likes, okay. But yeah, and then he comes with an extra head because this one's a different head from the other one we have. This one's like basically the same one because it has the black mask instead and yeah pretty cool and it's uh the hood's attached to it so you can't really do anything to take it off and then it comes with this staff the other one doesn't come it, it came with like batons that you just stick together and it becomes a huge stick but it's not as big as as long as this but this one doesn't do anything it's just one huge staff and then you just have them hold it but yeah that's all we got for accessories now let's go over the looks of him. So the difference between that head sculpt and that one's pretty obvious. This one's white for the mask. The hood looks really good. There's some wrinkling going on. Some little black wash through there a little bit. Um, the eyes look good. And then this is the, I think this is the same cape that they used from the other one. Pretty sure it kind of looks like it, especially with this. Nice chest. The yeah, last one was with, he had armor on him. This one's just full on costume. Nice reflective silver for the moon there. I like the little gauntlet for his arm there. It's pretty cool. And then they have some little black wash going on through out the figure to give it that depth, I guess. And they added some to the the cape too, and the behind and the back too. Um, 
and then it, he has this cool belt here, nice and shiny with some moon, uh, with some crescent moons there. Boots, silver, or uh, reflective white going on there. I don't see any marbling, that's nice. Um, and then here's the bag, not much, you get that thing. I don't know why, I think that's supposed to be like the the item or the number that they use to like figure out which one's which, I guess. But yeah, and then let's go over articulation. So his head can move down that far, pretty good. Up that far, he can lift, le look left and right. He has some head pivot there. You get his arms to go out that much. You have a butterfly joint back here. Get him to go really far back like that. Um, he has a bicep swivel. Uh, double jointed elbows, if I could get that one to go. There we go, just like that. His wrists can hinge down that far. Up that far, 360 rotation. He has an ab crunch, so you get him to go down that far, backwards that far. Uh, he has a waist swivel, I think. Yep, there we go. The belt kind of hit it. So you can get him rotate 360, get his legs to kick out that far, kick forward pretty good, and then backwards. Eh, decent. It's pretty decent. And then uh, you get a thigh cut, double jointed knees. There we go. Uh, boot cut. Yep, there we go. Boot cut there. His ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, and a nice ankle pivot. So he's a really cool figure. Uh, the only problem I have with him is these small, tiny pieces that you can't even use, really. And then also, actually, this. This one's a little... These are a little flimsy. You can kind of get him to hold these. I forgot to mention these. Um, but... You can kind of get him to grip it, but it's pretty loose in his hands, so you could probably lose that pretty quickly. What I'm doing is kind of like slotting it through his fingers just like that, and have him hold it like this. It's pretty cool. Kind of like that, but, it, but their plan was for the smaller ones, but I decided to do that, so. Really cool figure. Nice, cool details throughout the figure. And I like the look of it, just all white. It's pretty cool. And all the accessories are pretty cool. They added more accessories than they did the last time they released them. So that's really cool. So yeah, that's all I've got. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting, get me being able to do that and I'll also getting more games uh, to do reactions to. When I get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it. And then also the games for it, um, more camera, better camera equipment, uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.